Age gap relationships with a Filipina, do they work? That is a question that will always get differing and sometimes strong opinions. I've done several videos around large age gaps where I've voiced my thoughts around this, but in this video, I want to try and remain as neutral as I can. I would really like to hear your opinions in a respectful way, of course, and also hear from Filipinas as to what your views are on this. Looking to date a Filipina or already dating or married to a Filipina? I use my experiences around my relationship with my Filipina wife of six years as well as my professional experience as a qualified relationship counsellor for over the past 10 years. Are you after resources, tips and information for a successful relationship with your Filipina and to maintain it well into the future? No problems, just take a moment to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all our future videos and I promise you'll never miss out again. At what point does a age gap relationship become too big? I know for me my age gap with my Filipina wife is around 20 years. Now when I first met my wife I really had to consider very carefully if that was too big a gap. I really did think that very hard but what made me go forward with the relationship was that my wife was very independent, held the same full-time job for more than six years and was very responsible in the sense that she was sending money each month to her daughter who was living in the province with relatives. This showed me her maturity levels were that that could make our relationship work. But is there a point where the age gap becomes a little creepy? I've heard men and Filipinas say age is just a number and it's about the two people who are in the relationship. I'm trying to understand the saying that age is just a number as I'm not overly convinced on that but yes it is really about the two people involved and what relationship exactly they are both looking for. Not everyone may be searching for love and that is totally fine as long as the couple are totally honest and upfront with each other. Some may want a loving and caring relationship and others may be looking for more companionship or a partner to look after them as they go into their older years. And a Filipina may be happy to provide that companionship to the older man in exchange for a better life in a new country. Really, as I say, as long as the two adults involved are honest about what they both want and how it works, it's really none of anyone else's business. However, many questions do get raised when one sees a foreign man in his 70s with a young Filipina in her 20s and of course many stereotypes get thrown around like that dirty old man or another Filipina gold digger. It is no doubt difficult for many people to get their head around how a young beautiful woman could be in love with a man old enough to be her grandfather and really this is a very fair question or even assumption. People need to look at this honestly with an open mind as I'm trying to do here in this video in trying to weigh up both sides of this discussion. Did that young Filipina when she was in her teen years have posters on her walls of 70 year old men who she would swoon over or was her heart throbs more closer to her own age? The answer here is very clear. But people do change as they grow older and they may have experiences which change their views on many things. For example, a young Filipina may have had several relationships where the boyfriends all cheated on her or never took the relationship seriously. Could that have been enough for her to think all Filipino men are this way and start to think her best chance for love is with a much older foreign guy? I have no doubt that her views can change on this but to think a 20 year old would actually fall in love with a 70 year old or 60 year old for that matter is rather a stretch unless she has many issues. I just can't see how this can be genuinely so and as I say it's all good and well if the two in the relationship are open and honest with each other about exactly what they want from each other and in the relationship. Look at it this way. Is a 60 or 70 year old man going to say to a 20 year old Filipina that he really only wants her for his own pleasures in life? And is a young Filipina going to say to the old man that 
she only wants to be with him because he has plenty of money or he can provide her a much better life than what she has in the Philippines. It really is hard to get one's head around it. And I do know we see some relationships with such big age gaps who on the surface do seem very happy. For example, look at a foreign in the Philippines YouTube channel and you'll see Terence and Beth. Such a big age gap, but seemingly they have a very good relationship and they live in the Philippines, so it's not like she's looking to go and live in the USA or any country like that. One can never say never, so to speak, as everyone is different and everyone is looking for something different in their relationships. Just perhaps in some cases, it is possible for a young, attractive Filipina to fall in love with a much older man. But I do often wonder in such big age gap relationships, how would these two relate to each other? What could they possibly have in common with each other? And that is important in a relationship. Not only is this couple a couple of generations apart in age, they come from completely different worlds. How can they possibly relate to each other's worldviews and experiences in life? How can they even sit down together and enjoy simple pleasures in life such as music? He may like Bing Crosby, Buddy Holly and the Seekers and she may be into heavy metal, rap or hip hop, which certainly he wouldn't be interested in, one would think. And that's just one small example. The differences are massive. And how do they overcome this over the span of time? And even is it realistic for them to think they can even overcome it? And right here I'm going to address the elephant in the room and say what many are thinking at this point. And I'd like to get serious feedback on this in the comments, especially by Filipinas. Are these Filipinas pretending to be in love with a man in his 70s so that when he passes away, she will get what he has? money, house, valuables, etc. Would she have married him if there was a prenuptial agreement in place where she would get none of that? I know this is a very individualistic thing and not all Filipinas are the same, but really, what is the thought process behind a young Filipina in her 20s marrying a man in her late 60s or older? I would really love to get some honest answers from Filipinas so I can start to get some understanding if these Filipinas are foregoing love in order to get ahead in life or do they generally believe age and looks really don't matter and do they really have a strong love with these much older men? And I do think that many of us watching this video would also love to get genuine answers around this from those Filipinas in such big age gap relationships. So please pop your comments below and please everyone be respectful of each other and any insulting comments or replies will be deleted. So let's all keep it very civil. If you want more videos on age gap relationships then check out my playlist on screen now. Feel free to like and share the video, subscribe and press the bell icon for all future videos. Thanks for watching, I appreciate your support, take care and bye for now.